What's up, people? It's your boy Slide. In this video, I'm going to talk about confidence and why it doesn't matter. You see, women say this crap where they like a guy who's confident, a guy who knows how to just walk up to her and just start talking to her, right? Women say they want a guy who's confident. You hear it all the time. You hear it all the time. But that's not the case. See, confidence only works if the girl already likes the guy. Okay? If the girl likes the guy and he walks up to her, confidence is going to increase his chances of both of them dating. But if a girl doesn't like you, being confident doesn't mean anything. Because there are many confident guys who walk up to girls and girls don't show any sign of interest. I have seen situations where confident guys get rejected. So if these guys have confidence in talking to her, why would he get rejected? Because women say like guys, women say they like guys with confidence to make themselves seem like they are easy to talk to. But in reality, it doesn't mean anything. Let me explain how things work, okay? Let's say now, okay, when you are in public or at a social event, when you talk to a girl, what makes you want to talk to her? You talk to her based on the way she's dressed, the way she looks, or the way she smiles. Okay. Nobody will approach a stranger and start to be concerned about her personality. That's not how it works. The physical attraction is what makes people talk to other people. Okay. So when you see a woman and she is, for example, by herself. You don't know what is going to happen. You don't know if she's easy to talk to. You don't know if she's in a good mood. You don't know. So when you talk to a stranger, you're taking the chance of, you're taking the chance of anything. Okay. So when it comes to the U.S., okay, I know in other places they are kind of different. But for the United States, when you talk to a woman, in public, there is a 90% chance she's going to reject you. And the reason why she rejects you is because in her eyes, she has, no, that's it. In her eyes, she feels that you're not her type. But how does she know she's not your type? Women out here don't even give you a chance, okay? They don't even give you a chance. See, that's where the issues really kick in. Guys get mad because women don't give them a chance. If you gave the guy a chance and things don't work out, hey, you know, that's just the way it is. But you can find many women today who are single, Okay, they are single, but she won't go out on a date with another single guy. That's why guys get annoyed at women. Like if you go out with a girl and things don't work out, things don't work out. Okay, you can't really force that connection. But why guys get angry is based on the fact that they won't even give you a chance. They won't even go out with you. That's why guys get upset. So the whole so the whole thing is 
confidence doesn't mean nothing out here. Okay? It doesn't mean anything. Let me explain how... Let me explain something to you guys. If a guy is confident and he approaches a girl, the girl may show no signs of interest. Okay? He can make her laugh. She can literally be laughing at all his jokes. They can be having a nice conversation between 5 to 30 minutes. The guy can do all that charm. Doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean anything to her. Okay? But you have some guys out there who are pretty much... There are some guys out there who don't say much, who don't, who, you know, guys who don't, who guys, guys who don't really know what to say. But if that girl likes him, she will ignore all his flaws. Everything he said, she'll ignore it and she'll go out with him because she likes the guy. So confidence doesn't mean nothing. There are some guys out there who literally get nervous and they say the wrong things because like I said, when you, when you talk to a stranger, you don't know what to expect. But if the girl likes him, she's going to overlook all the stuff he said and, oh, let's just go out, we'll have a better, you know, let's, let's get to, to know each other better. This is how girls talk, okay? So all that confidence is nonsense. It's total nonsense. Let me explain a story of confidence. I approached a girl in public, in the downtown area, okay? I approached her. We were talking for about, I'm going to say between five to ten minutes. We were walking, just talking. She gave me her number. I asked for her number. She gave it to me. When I called her number or I texted her, her number later that day, it was a fake number. So, guess what? My confidence didn't mean nothing. Okay? It didn't mean nothing to her. And many guys have been through this stuff before too. Where they see a girl at the bus stop, or they see a girl maybe like in a city or in, in, or in the building. He approaches her. Doesn't mean nothing. So, people need to stop saying this confidence is something that works out here. In the United States, confidence doesn't mean nothing. And I can bet money on it to anybody. Okay? Confidence doesn't mean nothing. And a lot of guys get tired of hearing that crap because many guys have confidence and it gets them nowhere. There are many guys today who dress nice, Okay, they have decent cars, they have um, a decent job, they, they take care of, of their facial hair, they take care of their body. Girls still won't date these guys. So, confidence doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> okay, doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. So, all these um, women who say that crap, they're liars. Dating coaches will say that stupid crap too, just so that they'll just so that guys will pay for their courses. But hear me out. Dating confidence, confidence in dating does not mean nothing. If the girl likes you, she will find a way to date you. If a girl likes you, she will make time for you. If you have to keep on texting a girl to hang out. There's a high possibility she's not interested. So that's why I don't text anymore. I text you once, and I'm pretty much done after that. If we don't hang out by the second day we're texting, I'm over it. I move on. Because dating is a two-way street. It has to be 50-50. It can't be 
No, it has to be 50-50. If, if the woman's not interested, then, you know, I forget about it. I think what happens a lot of times is that guys were taught in America that they have to keep on chasing women. They have to, they have to keep on chasing women in the hopes that she will increase her interest in the guy. That To me, that's just backwards thinking. Because I believe in being around someone who wants to be around you. If you have to keep on chasing, chasing someone to spend time with you, there's a high possibility they don't want to hang out with you. So, anyhow, let me know what you think.